So let's see question number 116 here. We have to match column 1 with 2. So now first option pistols fuse together. Pistols fuse together. You call this condition as syncarpus. Formation of gametes. This process it is known as gametogenesis. Hyphae of higher ascomycetes. So you know that in the ascomycetes as well as in the basidiomycetes there is formation of dikaryotic mycelium which is also known as secondary mycelium. So this is the right option. Unisexual female flower. Yes, unisexual female flower is known as a pistillate and if it would have been male then you call it as a staminate flower. So the right option for this question is option number 4. So let's move on to the question number 117 here. So now let's discuss question number 117. In majority of angiosperm, egg has a filiform apparatus. This is wrong. Synergids contain filiform apparatus. Uh, there are numerous antipodal cells. This is again wrong. Generally antipodal cells are 3 in number. Reduction division occurs in megaspore mother cell. This is right. In the case of angiosperm, there is presence of sporic meiosis. A small central cell is present in embryo sac. It is not a small one. It is large central cell. So it means the right option here is option number 3. Question number 118 pollination in water hyacinth and water lily. Now water hyacinth and water lily they are water plants but in these plants the pollinating agency is insect. Pollinating agency is insect right. Now if we talk about the water lily in the case of the water lily if the insect pollination fails then wind pollination occurs. So we have to look for the option which has insects as well as wind. So the right option is option number 2. So let's move on to the question number 119 here. In the question number 119, the ovule of an angiosperm is technically equivalent to. Ovule is equivalent to megasporangium or more rightly you can say integumented megasporangium and carpal is equivalent to megasporophyll. So right option for this question is option number 1. Question number 120, Taylor conducting the experiment to prove semi-conservative model of chromosome replication and the experimental material which was selected by him that was Visia Faba. So let's move on to the question number 121. 